Now, as you can probably see, these are used. They do have makeup on them, and you know what? That's real life for me. I wasn't gonna go clean all my brushes and try and be like, oh my god, I clean my brushes every time. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. Now this video has been requested by so many of you guys, so it's finally time I'm going to show you how I pack my makeup. Now, as many of my subscribers probably know at this point, I do not usually have to follow the liquid rules when I am traveling to most airports. So kind of take this video as if you are packing your makeup to put it into a checked baggage. Now, if you are planning on traveling with carry-on only, you do need to follow TSA's liquid rules policy, which I recently made a video about, so please go check that out after this one. I will try and be as helpful as possible and point out some of the things that I would have to take out and put into my liquid rules, but I might not cover the broad spectrum of things like I did in that video so if you do not understand go check that video out now if you did see my video on how to pack a suitcase like a flight attendant you probably remember seeing this makeup bag right here which I absolutely adore this makeup bag it was wonderful it's really really held up and I have used and abused this I know many of you asked me where I got this and how you can get it, which I did get this from Victoria's Secret years ago. Now, I'm not talking about like one or two years. I'm talking years ago, my friend bought it for me. I don't think they sell it anymore, unfortunately, so I'm really sorry about that. But honestly, this was a great bag, except for the fact that I did, like I said, used and abused it. And I, oh! So this is so dirty, it needs a bath. It was just kind of time for me to get a new makeup bag. So if you have seen that video, you have probably seen this. Now, if you have seen my first Amazon haul video among the, I don't know how many I have done at this point, you probably recognize this. And this is how I was carrying my makeup brushes. Now, I actually really did like this as well because it just has two clasps right here. I would keep all my makeup brushes in it. I could just set it on the sink and easily go through my makeup brushes. So I thought that was really nice. Now, the thing that I didn't love about this which I have mentioned once before, is I love makeup. I wear a lot of makeup, I am a full glam girl, so you can expect to see a lot of makeup that I travel with on a day to day. So, since I travel with a ton of makeup, I obviously travel with a ton of makeup brushes. So the thing about this is when I have a bunch of brushes in here, which you will see, my bigger brushes would get the bristles sometimes caught in here when I was trying to close it. And so I would have to like put my makeup brushes in there, put this kind of over my brushes and then like shake it up so the bristles didn't get caught into that. So honestly, that wasn't my favorite thing. But because of the new makeup bag that I did just recently buy, I don't really need to use something like this or this anymore, thank goodness. Although I did love that and I do obviously love cheetah print, but I did get this bag right here. Now I love this brand and I actually have done a collaboration with this brand, which many of you did recommend to me to try this. So we are finally going to be doing it. I'm actually so excited about this bag. This video in particular is not sponsored. This is not a collaboration, although like I said, I have done a collaboration with them before. This is made by the company Lug. They make such high quality bags. So if you haven't seen my must have summer bag video, I will also link that down below for you guys to check out. But this brand is just, oh, Great. Now, as I have said, I do have my makeup in here. I have my makeup brushes in here, so I'm excited to share that with you. The only thing that is not going to be in here is going to be my setting spray. I ran out of it, I need to buy some more, so it's not going to be seen in this. Now, I also know many of you are going to be asking me about blush, and as far as blush goes, a lot of times I do use an eyeshadow. I will show you the shade. I don't actually wear blush itself, and sometimes I don't wear blush at all. So yeah, you're not really gonna see that in here. And the last two things that you're not going to see in here is going to be eyeshadows, and it's not going to be my contour kit now the reason it's not going to be those things is because I actually like to travel with full palettes I do keep them into a ziploc bag now which I didn't used to do you guys told me to do that and so I started doing that I actually really love when y'all give me like tips and tricks so keep on doing that because I learned so much from y'all just like y'all learn from me so I do travel with this contour palette this is the hi-fi 8h by morphe I have gone over this palette with y'all before and the thing that I did tell y'all is these shades are actually too too dark for my skin tone for the most part so that's my only thing with this but I have adored this palette so far and as you can see I pretty much have used and abused whoops I pretty much have used and abused all of the highlight I'm getting there with the contour so I'm probably gonna have to get a new palette and I also travel with the entire eyeshadow palette I have lots of eyeshadow palettes. This is the 35W by Morphe. This is the one that I always travel with. One of the biggest reasons that I do travel with this one, which you are going to see, is broken. 
that's the perks of traveling with makeup is because as you can see there's a lot of neutral colors in here so it's really really good for me to just do an everyday look especially for work these colors and sometimes this one mostly these two are what i use for blush which is why you're not going to see blush in there but yeah that's that's the real life of traveling with makeup is stuff gets dirty stuff breaks you just have to be ready for it so when you guys were telling me put these in a ziploc bag in case they break i absolutely did that now i haven't really had like an instance where they busted into my suitcase when they weren't in a bag but obviously i don't want to risk anything so i do travel with these they are in a ziploc bag i just set them at the bottom of my suitcase they're pretty much the first thing to go in there so that's how these get traveled with now let's jump into the bag there's so many different prints and everything that comes with these bags i love this one it just kind of spoke to me this is their trolley case bag this does have a trolley sleeve with velcro so you can attach it when you're not using it but if you do want to use this as a personal item you can just put this over the handlebar of your roller board and carry it with you so i love that feature of this even though that this does go inside of my bag the next thing that it does is it has a pocket in the back i don't currently have anything in here as you're going to see but it just has like a little pocket and a little smaller pocket right here so if you are using this through the airport as your personal item you can probably put a couple documents maybe some pins or something so you can fill out your paperwork if you're traveling internationally or just put whatever you want to in there but like i said i don't have anything in there so when you first open this front pocket right here this is where my makeup brushes are going to be so i do like to keep my face brushes in this front pocket right here and these are kind of like the brushes that i was talking about because like they're fluffier and stuff that they were getting caught in this case so if you are traveling with not as many brushes as i do this would probably work out pretty nicely for you or just for some eyeshadow brushes or some smaller brushes that's great now as you can probably see these are used they do have makeup on them and you know what that's real life for me i wasn't gonna go clean all my brushes and try and be like oh my god i clean my brushes every time I don't I'm sorry I just don't I don't clean my, my makeup brushes after every single use I'm busy I'm traveling all the time I don't have time for that if y'all want to come for me over it you can come clean my brushes for me so these are not going to be clean it's just it's just not it now also these are not all gonna be clean they're not all in the same order but as you can see I have so many different makeup brushes I have real techniques in here I have some brands I don't even know these are in Jewy, which I got on Amazon which have worked out great this is like a 26 piece set so some of these I don't even have in here I'll link this set down below too for anybody wanting to check those out I don't even know these don't even have like a name on them so I do have like some brushes that I really don't know where they came from so I have a ton of eyeshadow brushes and different sorts of and different sorts of brushes so these just go into the other pocket to kind of keep them separate <laughs> so now that you can kind of see like how i keep my makeup brushes organization is like key to me and that's with packing that's with everything i love to stay organized when i am traveling and also you are going to see in here that a lot of this does have a plastic lining like in here which does make it really easy to wipe down when it does get makeup on it now in this bag i did have my eyelash glue pretty much explode all over it more times than i would like to admit which is much harder to get off so you're going to kind of see like what i do now in this bag versus that bag but i do like this plastic lining because it does make it really easy to just wipe off your makeup and then it looks brand new so in this pocket over here i do have my beauty blenders i got these from target i have noticed that these are pretty nice and pretty easy to clean so that is where i go ahead and keep my beauty sponges now on the other side over here in this pocket i do have my powder I like to use this Cody Airspun powder. You can get this on Amazon, which I'll link down below. You can get it at Walgreens, CVS, wherever. This is the translucent extra coverage. This is fabulous, love it to death. It does smell like grandma, so you are forewarned of that. And it also can make a mess when you open it. I've never had any instances where it opened into my makeup case itself, but when you do open it and you are putting this on, expect that it's going to go everywhere. So try and put a towel down, especially if you're sitting on the floor in front of a mirror, like I like to do. So I do go ahead and put that powder right here. Fits perfectly, it's really nice. For the main compartment right here, when you open it, it does have this part right up here. And this is kind of where I just put like my extras, I guess you would say. This was my jade roller, which I got this in my travel haul at TJ Maxx. If y'all haven't seen that, I will again go ahead and link that video down below. But that's where I got this to kind of like roll out my face. So when it starts to swell and get really puffy from traveling a lot, I use that. I also do like to travel with just like an empty eyelash case. 
So that way, whenever I take these off, I can just store them in here. Or if there's a day where I just don't feel like having any makeup, any eyelashes, any whatever on, I just put them back into their little case. So that way they can kind of hold their shape and I don't have to worry about them getting all bent up and messed up. So that'll just stay in here. The next thing that I do have is this, which is like an eyebrow hair trimmer, I guess. This is as cheap as can be. You can probably get these at like the dollar store or your local grocery store or Amazon where everything is. So like nothing fancy about these. They're just to help trim your eyebrows and I just use a spoolie and this. Then I have a pair of tweezers in here. These came from Ulta. They don't even have a brand on them. I have a pencil sharpener in here and I also have these and these are just like mini hair trimmers so if you need to get rid of any peach fuzz or if you have any like sideburn hairs or you want to get the middle of the eyebrow or whatever you want to use it for just your entire face you do you so I do carry three of those in here so that's just kind of how I carry all the stuff so it does stay out of the rest of the room with my makeup and the next thing I do have in here is a bag of makeup wipes so little makeup remover wipes by Neutrogena. Love these, they're so gentle on the skin. You don't even really have to press down, just kind of smooth it out and it takes the makeup right off. Usually only takes me one wipe and I wear a lot of makeup. This part does come up a bit when you're traveling so sometimes you do need to go ahead and get a piece of tape just to kind of like tape them down with, which I should probably do. But I just go ahead and set these on top in here. Okay, sorry y'all, I did have to go ahead and change my battery. But the next thing I do have in here is this little Ziploc bag. This is just like a snack size bag. Like I said with like my last makeup bag, my biggest problem was my eyelash glue. It had a tendency to explode. I don't know why, it would just seem to come open and get everywhere and once it's everywhere, it's incredibly hard to get off. So that's why I just started keeping it into one of these little things. I also noticed that with my eyeliner, I was told by one of you, which is very true. This is the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. I did love this, but the top does start to come off. So like when I was first getting the eyeliner, I never had that issue. And then as I've had it, the top just randomly pops off. So that also gets to stay in the bag. My mascara hasn't really been so problematic, which like I've said, I usually wear false eyelashes. So I like this one. It's the Falsies by Maybelline. And I really just use it just to darken up uh, my eyelashes. And then I also like it for the lower lash line because it doesn't get a bunch of mascara all underneath my eye. It hasn't really spilled a bunch in my bag, but I keep it in here anyways. And then this is just a eyebrow pencil. I don't even know what brand it is. I can't read it anymore. And I usually use a shadow, but sometimes I use a pencil. I haven't really had a bunch of problems with that, but occasionally the caps will come off. So that's in here as well. Okay, so when you actually start looking inside the bag itself, you can see that this is all lined with plastic lining, which is nice because it's so easy to wipe down. So in this pocket right in here towards the back underneath this one is where I go ahead and keep my foundations and my concealers and my face stuff. I kind of like to keep my makeup separated by category. So as you can see, this is gonna be kind of my eye stuff. Um, my face stuff is going to be in here. So this is my Derma Blend leg and body makeup with sunscreen in it. It has SPF 25, which I've said I don't really use this for leg and body. I mix it in with my other foundation, which is my Derma Call. So I love to mix the two of these together. This is in the shade Light Natural. And then this is in the shade 208. So I just mix a little bit of those together. And then depending on how much spray tan, it'll either be a little bit more of this, which is darker, or a little bit more of this, which is lighter to come up with my shade. This is my primer, which is NYX Honey Do Me Up. Absolutely love this. I have very dry skin and this gets really tacky and my foundation sticks lovely to it, but it also seems to have like this kind of radiance and moisture to my face, which I obviously need, especially since I'm traveling all the time. I also do like to carry this, which is NYX liquid illumination i'm guessing this is kind of like a gel highlighter that you can use right here but i actually sometimes like to put this underneath my foundations and stuff just to give a little bit of extra glow to the skin which adds some like youthfulness and a little bit of glow which i love this is in the shade sunbeam li01 so i'll carry that with me and then i also do have my tarte double duty beauty shape tape concealer this is in porcelain beige and then i do have my highlighting powder this is broken as well I'm telling y'all stuff breaks when you're traveling with it all the time and this is by elf even though it doesn't really say it anymore this is the shade moonlight pearls that just kind of goes in here with the rest of this and so this you can expect if you are traveling with this in your carry-on that needs to go into your liquid stuff both of these need to go into your liquid bag 
This needs to go into your liquid bag as well as this would have to go into your liquid bag. So, so far, those would be the products that you would need to put into your liquid bag. I also did go into the difference between lipsticks and cream lipsticks. So if you don't know the difference, definitely go check my TSA video out because that can help with that as well. And then at the very bottom, I do have like my lipsticks and stuff and my lip liners. I have noticed that with my lip liners, especially stuff that's like a pencil like this, the tops have a tendency to pop off, which is why I do like to keep them where the plastic liner is. So in case the top does fall off, I can just wipe it down. So I have lots of lipsticks in here. I have lots of like cream and liquid lipsticks. I have lots of liners and stuff in here. So I just kind of like have those in here so I can just kind of dig through and see whatever colors and stuff that I want. And then after that, I'll just go ahead and take my makeup wipe container and then just set it right back on top and then take this stuff and put it right back in here. So that's pretty much how you're going to see me pack my makeup, the whole lot of it. Sometimes you'll see a little bit more like my setting spray and other things that I'll have. Sometimes you'll see a little bit less. Just kind of depends on where I'm going and how heavy I want this bag to be. I just set it right at the bottom of the foot of my suitcase, right on top of my makeup palette. So it'll just kind of set just like this and it makes it really easy to travel with. So any of the products in here that I can find on Amazon or somewhere with like a quick link that's really easy for you guys, I will link them down below so you can check that out. So there you go, you guys. I hope this was helpful and I hope I will see you guys all on my next video. Bye. Bye.